so if you're wondering why I'm kind of dressed the same with the same makeup and everything and I've still got my Christmas tree in the background even though I don't know when this video is going to go up is because I'm pre-recording things for when I'm away and the Christmas tree is just too nice a background to not have so it is going to remain in my videos even if this video goes up in January but right now it's the middle of December. So yeah, in this video I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a couple um, more brands that I want to include as kind of part of the best of UK brands because I did that video a while ago, I'll link part one down below and I've got a couple more products in here that I want to include and then I'll kind of talk to you about a couple of UK kind of, um, I want to say hotspots but that's not really what I mean. So I'm going to start with the first brand. The first brand I want to talk to you about is Liz Earl and this is quite a famous kind of UK brand because the infamous cleanse and polish hot cloth cleanser is kind of raved about in every magazine it's kind of a beauty editor's favorite and it's an amazing product but a lot of the Lizelle products are really amazing too she does makeup now and you also have kind of body products this is just an example of the nourishing botanical body cream this is really nice really moisturizing and just leaves your skin feeling lovely but the kind of facial skincare is fantastic as well and it's a great brand to look into if you come in if you come to the UK. The easiest place to get hold of it kind of within store and not online is in places like Don Lewis. Then I've got a kind of great hair care brand for you. I've got two, but the first one is Bumble and Bumble. And I've got two kind of curly hair products here because that kind of matches my hair. But I've got the BB Curl Conscious Calming Cream and the BB Curl Conscious Reactivating Mist. This is what both of these look like. Great, great UK brand. I really like the Sunday shampoo as well to kind of clarify your hair. But you can buy these in Space and K. Some John Lewis's have them. It's something that you can kind of find if you're mooching around in stores in the UK. The Activating um, Curling Mist is really lovely. I'll kind of a little bit into my hair now and show you. It smells gorgeous and it can kind of just boost your hair up a little bit and give it that little bit of extra oomph. But great, great brand and definitely something to look into. I know you can get this in the US but maybe not the entire line of products so that's something that you might want to um, bear in mind. Then I have got a makeup brand here for you and this is actually one of my favourite makeup brands in general. I pretty much love everything I've ever tried from this brand and that's saying something because I try a lot of makeup. But Seventeen is a great brand that's available in Boots and it's a brand that I feel like gets overlooked sometimes and not that many people talk about it but it's just a fantastic, fantastic brand and so many of the products are just amazing. I love a lot of their foundations. My favourite one is the Stay Time Foundation but I also like the on the spot foundation so definitely look into buying this it's a nice full coverage foundation definitely look into buying this if you're in the UK because it's amazing and then they do um, this concealer this isn't my personal favorite just because of the color it's a bit too light for me but the poor paint concealer this is a great dupe for benefits um, Erase paste. It's a lovely dupe for that. Very, very inexpensive. The packaging of it's nice. Um, their face powders, the... Uh, I want to say it's called Stay Matte, but it's not. I can't remember. Miracle Matte face powder is lovely as well. And then they also do some great um, lip products and mascaras and that kind of thing. I like pretty much all the mascaras, but the favourite lip products of theirs are the Mirror Shine Lip and they kind of come in this cute packaging with a little clip out mirror and they're just a kind of very lovely moisturizing texture I really really like these they're possibly one of my favorite lipsticks ever and I own a lot of the colors that they do and um, really lovely and then another one that they do is the stay pouch and they're the kind of um, longer lasting lipsticks but they're still very lovely and they stay on beautifully so that's um, number 17 and then they've also got this really lovely cream bronzer that's out at the moment that I've been using which looks like this and it's a really unusual product for a drugstore product so definitely look into that because 17 as I said are a great great UK brand and then um, my other one is a fragrance and I know you can get these in the US but it's definitely kind of a cult UK brand you can get this in various places Selfridges um, various space in K stores and this is Jo Malone and this is my favourite one it's the lemon not lemon lime basil and mandarin cologne and these are amazing the candles they do are amazing the whole experience of buying something from Jo Malone is just beautiful and I really recommend if you've come from a you've come from abroad and you're kind of having a little trip to the UK buying a fragrance that's kind of traditionally British um, will be really nice because it'll kind of remind you of your trip I think that's a nice way kind of, of memory to store memories if that makes sense really like that 
And then last but not least, I've got a hair care brand and it is of course John Frieda. Now I know that John Frieda is available in other countries as well, but it is a British brand. And two of my favourites at the moment are the Frizzy's Curl Enhancing Oil and the Liquid Shine Perfect Glosser. I've been using this one, I've been straightening my hair and I really, really like this. But again, a great UK brand and it's a great drugstore brand that you can buy in Boots or Superdrug. So those are kind of my little brand mentions. And then I'm gonna to talk to you about if you're visiting the UK and things you wanna look out for. So obviously you want to make sure you go to Boots and Superdrug. I know a lot of people prefer um, one or the other. I honestly, if I had to pick, I don't know if I don't know if I could because Superdrug has got brands that I love like MUA for example which I covered in my previous video um, but then Boots has got other brands like the Sanctuary that I really like as well but um, definitely make sure you go to both of those and get yourself a nice little list of things and pick up some great budget um, drugstore makeup because there are some really fantastic things that you can buy. Another thing that people always ask me is kind of about teas and like afternoon tea and cream tea and that kind of thing and I will be the first to confess that I'm very um, I'm not very British in that aspect of I don't like tea I really really don't like tea with milk especially and um, I'm not kind of I'm not a tea drinker in the slightest, so it's not something that I would ever really know and recommend where you should go. But um, if you want to kind of have cream teas and that kind of thing, then definitely look online and you can have a look and sort of see what the best ratings are and that, and that type of thing, if that's something that you're interested in. Another thing that's really worth mentioning is going to Primark. It's a kind of very strange experience the first time i ever went to a primark i was a little bit surprised because it wasn't what i expected and it can get a little bit jumbo saley and it can get a little bit messy and the things in it can sometimes look like they're not very nice quality and very cheap but you have to know what to shop in primark um how to shop and i find that buying things like underwear pajamas um basics are really really great in primark accessories that kind of thing are really good but I wouldn't necessarily buy things like um, evening wear and high heels and that kind of thing from there because I just find the cuts aren't very great and the quality's not that fantastic. But for basics, it's a really, really good thing. You know, for buying sort of things like scarves and maybe like a purse and pyjamas and that kind of thing, it's really, really great. So definitely go and check that out. But that's all I could think of um, for those types of examples. But if you've got any that you think are worth mentioning, then um, put those in the comments below because I'm sure everyone will benefit from it. And if you're coming to the UK soon, then let us know in the comments down below as well. And um, if you have been, then let us know what your experience was and where you went and what you enjoyed the most. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big, big thumbs up and I will see you next time.